The Washington, D.C. metro area has the highest rate of HIV and AIDS cases in the country, which means that many organizations in Washington play an important role in HIV research and care. The overwhelming majority of children and teens in the Washington, D.C. metro area are treated at Children's National Medical Center, which has had an HIV program since 1986. The key thing we do here is offer one-stop shopping for our kids and families. So we have everything from medical care, to psychosocial support services, mental health services, case management, nutrition. It's like a family where we are in constant communication with one another and we talk about what do we think is in the best interest of this young person. Everywhere this young person goes, they're gonna hear the same message. They're amazing, they're like, I don't even like hospitals, but this hospital, it doesn't smell like a hospital, it doesn't feel like a hospital. There's colors everywhere, there's welcoming people everywhere, there's words saying welcome in every different language. They have very uplifting attitudes and they're just fun. The multidisciplinary community-centered approach at Children's National includes research-based prevention and treatment. The team also focuses on long-term management strategies for patients, children, teens, and young adults. Um, usually when they come in, they see the social worker um, that they're assigned to, and that social worker usually helps them with making sure that they have access to the services that they need, whether it's, you know, food or if they need help with rent assistance or electricity or accessing another clinic. Um, they also see the nutritionist. You know, if a child is very young, um, it might center more around um, the family social situation and that they have the adequate resources to make sure you know the child grows and stays healthy versus with an adolescent or a young adult it seems to be easier to keep on the plan when they've been involved so that they can carry it out and feel you know not only informed but empowered. We're now talking about managing a chronic illness for what could be a lifetime. I'm taking every moment I can. I'm living life to the fullest. I'm taking every opportunity these families, literally, their, their lives have been transformed by health care here in the United States. From a disease where you would die 20 years ago to now, they're dealing with the same exact problems as every other teenager, about dating, about you know going to their first day in high school. Our population is definitely aging, uh, so which presents interesting issues in of itself. Now it's more about how do I help these young people adjust to becoming a grown-up. And we have a number of success stories here at Children's where kids have grown up to go on to college and have successful academic careers, etc., who show other adolescents that you can live with this disease and have a quite normal life. My job is actually the easiest part in terms of, you know, deciding medications and what medications. The problem really is making sure that they take their medication so that they actually work. Adherence can be challenging in all settings for the kid, whether it's at home, how do we manage medication around family members who may not know your diagnosis? And so we work with the families really to strategize, giving them pill boxes, um, motivational reminders, text messaging, phone calls, even doing home visits. They gave me a texting program, whereas they'll text me every night reminding me. Kids always want to be similar to other kids, so the goal is how can you promote adherence within the context of the kid's natural life? The big picture goal is for me to work myself out of a job so that they have an undetectable viral load where you can't even see the virus in their blood, where they have a robust immune system so that they're not getting sick, and also making sure that the babies are no longer getting infected. I think some of the other big challenges will include transition and retention and care. We have 100% retention of our newly diagnosed kids in care here at Children's. We strive to make sure that they're strongly connected to care, they remain engaged in care uh, from the pediatric side to the adult side. Our mental health team is particularly skilled at helping kids with disclosure. When do you disclose and whom do you disclose to? People that I've run into that have had to go through a disclosure say that they've had a hard time 
Fortunately, I haven't ran into my hard disclosure yet, but I know one day I'll disclose to somebody and they're not going to like it. We're very clear about differentiating between what is a secret and what is private. So we work to bolster who they are because there's so much stigma around the illness, reminding them that HIV does not define them as a person. Sometimes it's I don't want to have this. I'm going to wait till they find a cure and I'm going to do what I have to do to keep myself healthy. Keeping kids and the entire community healthy is the central mission at Children's National, and we've found the kids are key partners in achieving that goal. The kids teach you humility, and they keep you very grounded. They will let you know what they need and how much they need if we just take the time to really observe them and listen to them. Because sometimes we as the experts, sometimes we assume we know. And so we have to step back to really hear from the patients and the family about what it is that they say that they want. The big goal of the team is to decrease the infection rate, making sure that the kids live normal, productive lives. I have the utmost confidence that with the right supports and scaffolding, they will, they will soar and they will achieve great things. I admire the young people and I admire their resilience because they take life on whatever that looks like. It's pretty awesome. Don't let this take control of you because you're still you. You will live, you will live a life, you will live on and it's not gonna control you who you are. Some good advice that I heard say go for it. If you don't go for it, how do you know what you can do? 